Hello, this is uh, Mike DH, and I am a Magic the Gathering player at, you know, in fact, I have an, uh, an account at uh, Tapped.net, and I'm one of the uh, people who post things there. And uh, what Tapped.net is, is a, is a site where uh, they people make and build uh, Magic the Gathering decks, and they, they have deck pages, and and they have forums and, and stuff. And what Magic the Gathering is 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 a collectible card game, um, you know, much like Yu-Gi-Oh and uh, and uh, you know, Star Wars and uh, and many other uh, collectible card games and Pokemon and so forth. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm making a video that I'm gonna be posting on like Make Upload or or YouTube or something like that. I'm gonna be putting this video on uh, a article that that I'm going to be putting um, on tapped.net here for the community and uh, what the the uh, here let me you know, clear just a second um, what I'm going to be doing is uh, uh, covering a uh, world of decks and uh, my world of deck and and you know um, and why they should or could be uh, a, uh, a a tier 1.5 or 1.75 you know uh, you know, you know, tier one, maybe even uh, a deck and everything, and how to make them as as good as, as good as possible, and some of the problems that they have to deal with. Um, and so, with that in mind, uh, um, I'm here on my deck page for my deck, and I'm going to cover it. And um, and when I do, like, put my mouse over here, that brings up a card so you can see what it does and, and everything. Um, so let's first talk about dwarf decks in general. Um, a little bit. Um, they have a lot of potential. They they, they could be uh, uh, one of, one of the, the better, more competitive decks. Um, but they have um, a, a little room um, for error. Just like a, like a red deck wins deck, you can throw any hodgepodge of cards in there and it'll be okay. But not so if a war of deck. Um, you you've you got to do a really good job of building it, and your sideboard's gonna have answers for, for, for a lot of fans and your main deck's gotta have answers for everything because there's fans that shut down World of Decks like Ratchet Bomb uh, you know lots of different uh, cards that, that shut it down um, and so you gotta have answers to a lot of, lot of removal and, and various things and and so let's cover what some of those those things are and so um, and st starting the coverage of this deck I'm gonna start off with the top of my deck list and I'm just gonna highlight it and that's a, a Birds of Paradise. Now one of the things that uh that uh decks are struggling with, um World of Decks are struggling with is is where if ever wants to be an aggro or a mid range type of deck and the problem is it's not really either and doesn't do either as well as it could and so forth. So um Birds of Paradise really help the in a a world deck, or you know, do that, or score in villagers. But I like Birds of Paradise better, and the reason why I like Birds of Paradise is because if you drop that first turn, second turn, you can drop, you know, any, you know, three converted mana cost uh, card there, and so it's really um, very effective, and and it's also a chump blocker. You can pump it up with uh, Keswick Wolf Run over here, and you know, and do damage or kill stuff so it's um it also draws a lot of hate people will think that you're playing like a Kazakh wolf run ramp deck or something and and they'll get rid of your your you know your birds so i i, I really like that um and um the next thing i want to cover is of course um captains um Worf decks have a lot of captains it's one of the strong points and uh this is one of the the best uh, um of them all, and that's why I have it at a four of. Um, and so, you know, it's it's really really good. And when you flip it, it gives you a plus one, and you know, also it it produces wolf tokens. And the, producing wolf tokens is very important because that creates creature advantage. Um, you know, it's a very uh, you, know, you know important thing to keep in mind is concepts such as card advantage, you know, card economy, uh, uh, creature advantage. And 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 so it's a very effective very effective card there, um, and another thing is okay. Before I go any further, I'm going to check how long this uh, 
this thing has been going on, this video, because um, I want to see um, just how long I've been like recording for, like time elapsed and everything, because otherwise it gets to be too long. Um, when it gets to about um, you know double the time that I've been going, I'll, I'll um, and so um, basically um, the next one is. Um, is like Imrolf. And it's the same thing, it, it, it pumps, but it's got the additional effect of intimidate and, uh, and, and you know, your wolves can't be flipped back and, and so forth. And, and then the next lord is, uh, is uh, Huntmaster of the Fells. Now I want to dwell on this for, for a little bit because some people say that Huntmasters and Imrolfs don't work together very well and, and do, in reality they do actually work, um, f you know, well together, and they, because uh, you know, how often will Huntmaster flip? Not, not very often. It won't flip back and forth very often, and you know, and you don't often want to flip your air rolls back, anyways. And so, um, you also don't, uh, you know, you know, if you get Huntmaster off and you flip it and everything, you get an Emerald in the play. Um, if you get nothing further out of Huntmaster, even if you don't flip it back and everything, even if you get, get it removed, you at least get a wolf token out of it, you get two life, and if you flip it just once, you get at least uh, two damage to your foe and to a loner uh, creature of theirs, it kills off loner creatures, and so so it's it's very effective, it has a lot of value. Um, a loner lord um, is Daybreak Ranger, and Daybreak Ranger is very valuable because it flips and turns into a 4-4 Nightfall Predator and it kills um, you know 4-4s even higher if you pump up your your Daybreak Ranger you just tap this pay one red and you, you can kill a, a creature in a fight and so it's, it's very valuable um, also before it, it transforms it kills off 1-1 uh, one, one and 2-2 two, two Flyers um, so it's, it's very valuable in, in that sense um, and so that covers um, the you know the, the creatures so far, and you know and you know the the reason why I don't have things like uh, crew and outlaw is crew and outlaw covers you know it it costs two red and it's hard to get to two red because I'm running more green werewolves because I use I'll get into this a little bit later but I use green sun zenith to search up my my werewolves and and. Yeah, and I can't search up Crew and Outlaw or Instigator Game, which is, you know, it's a great card, both Crew and Outlaw and Instigator Game, but they, um, Instigator Game is a little bit too slow for me because it's, it, it doesn't come out until turns four or five and doesn't um, flip and transform until turns five or six and doesn't like, attack until turns six or seven. And, you know, and and so it's a little bit on the slow side. Plus, it's, it's pump is only like... Uh, a, t a temporary plus three, and with these uh, pumpable lords like uh, um, you know, like you know, like I've already covered Mayor and Imrolf, and you know, Frex and Metamorph, I can copy that. I want to go into just a second about Metamorph. Um, you know, that's that's a lot of pump. I have 17 pumpers in my deck. And I'm going to get two to four of them in the play, and that gives. Um, my creatures, you know, about a five four to seven six by turns, uh, you know, five six seven eight. So it's gonna be just about as good as what what uh, Instagram game will do, anyways. And you know, and Instagram game and Crew and Outlaw both they draw a lot of hate, and Crew and Outlaw is only like a three three even after it transforms, and so it's it's easy to be killed, and so is Instagram game, and the plus three fiends overkill when I can do this pretty much the same thing and, and it's in slower so um so that that covers the creatures part. Um as far as looking at uh at the, the charts and everything I do splash a little bit of blue. I'll get into later as far as error cards. Um as you can see um the outer ring is um the like card costs, mana symbols. The inner ring is like the mana resources and so you can see the 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 mana base is, is very very well done um, and so that's not really a, a problem there you know and I'll cover the mana a little bit later um, and so let's look at the uh, 
the how my videos come along. I'll pop that up and okay, so it's been going now for for a while and so I'm gonna hit the pause button um and and see um where I wanna go from here and uh and if I need to do another video segment, um I might break this video down into uh, a few video segments. Uh, that way it's not like one long uh, video segment that you have to download or, or see whatever. Okay? So um, with that in mind, I'm signing off until the next video segment or until I unpause it, whatever. Okay. Bye.